Have you lost your mind? Oh dear, they must be even weaker than I thought. Walter Quinn, our orders! That's the last one, I promise. Last one? How many have you killed? Maybe ten? Ten? These are ordinary people. Fooled into disorder by the hollow promise of a better life. They may have broken the law, but they certainly don't deserve death. Look, we stopped the riot, didn't we? What's the problem? The problem is that the Blue Foxes have slaughtered defenseless civilians. That's what people will be saying about us now. We've lost the good reputation we've worked so hard to earn. But a bad reputation has its advantages too, no? You... did this on purpose. Just to make life difficult. Let's pick this up later, Fred. We have to go. <sighs> Over six months had passed since the Trovelt-Shovian Empire captured Tagaria naval base. Several attempts were made to retake the base during this period, but Commander Osmaldo Selica's garrison has proved impossible to displace. Osmaldo's forces are clearly superior, yet he has made no attempt to push on beyond Tagaria. A state of affairs that left the royal government perplexed as to his motives. In the meantime, the Blue Foxes have been put to work suppressing riots in the slums of Central Field. While doing so, Walter Quinn shocks her comrades by ignoring orders and deploying lethal force. On the one hand, Walter Quinn's violent conduct achieves the desired result. The terrified rioters promptly surrender. On the other hand, it severely tarnishes the Blue Fox's reputation, rightly or wrongly mocking them as ruthless killers. As a result, their patron, Duke Hende, has also become a target for criticism from other members of the Lord's Council. Though this did little to discourage him from continuing to strengthen his grip over Southfield. Before the month was up, the Duke had become the de facto ruler of the entire region. Lorraine, we require an urgent update regarding the situation at Tagaria. Of course. But may I ask why? We're going to retake it. What? what D Duke Hende hasn't mentioned any such plans. He's preoccupied with Southfield at the moment. A preoccupation that is causing his position on the council to grow weaker by the day. It's not a problem for us yet, but it will make life difficult in the long term. However, if we liberate the base, well, then the Duke's detractors would have to stop their carping about his involvement in Southfield. And have you thought of a strategy? The Royal Army appears to be at a loss thus far. I have a strategy, and I'm confident that we will succeed. Very well.
Mm-hmm. Thank you. How about this? Why, yes. Anyway. Understood. <laughs> 